The last citizen of the USSR. Astronaut who forgot in space. This man was involuntarily the last citizen of the USSR. While he was in space, his homeland fell apart. He was forced to set a world record for being in space. There was no way to bring him back to Earth. He was simply refused return to Earth. He was told the country that sent him into space now does not exist. While in Moscow there was a coup. Station Mir continued to revolve around the Earth. The station became his home and the last piece of the USSR. Four months ago, the USSR sent it into space from Soviet Baikonur. His mission was designed for five months. He wasn't prepared for more. The collapse of the country dealt a huge blow to the space industry. Sergei was told that the country had no money to return it. The MCC asked him to stay as long as possible at the station. It was very difficult for him, being in orbit more than expected should be harmful for his health. The consequences are very serious, cosmic radiation, cancer risk, weakened immunity. If desired, Sergei could leave Mir at any time. There is a rescue capsule at the station. But this would lead to the death of the station itself. Sergei did not pass his post. His mission lasted twice as long, 311 days. Instead of four planned flights, only two were sent to the Mir station. Not one of the two sent missions could not be equipped with a flight engineer. Hyperinflation has begun in Russia. The government sold everything that it could, including places at the Mir station. Japan bought a place for $12 million, Austria for $7 million. They wanted to sell the station, while it was still in working condition. All crew members returned home, except for Sergei Krakalev. He was able to replace when Germany bought his place under his flight engineer for $24 million. Sergei Krakalev returned home on March 25, 1992. After landing, a man came out of the capsule with the letters of the USSR on a space suit. In his hands he held the banner of the Soviet Union. They wrote in the reports, his appearance was exhausted, his skin was a pale powdery color. The condition was poor. Four people helped him to land. The place where he landed on the outskirts of Arkalik, ceased to be Soviet territory and became Kazakhstan. His hometown of Leningrad became St. Petersburg. For his large Soviet salary of an astronaut, 600 rubles, now you can buy a kilogram of sausage. Two years later, he will be awarded the title of, Hero of Russia. A little later, he will become the first Russian astronaut to fly on a NASA shuttle. Two years later he will be the first at the ISS station.